arise to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the death of J.J. Harper on Friday, March 9th. He had a profound impact on our province and on my life. John Joseph Harper was killed by a bullet from a police officer's gun after he was stopped in a case of mistaken identity. He was mourned by his wife Lois and three children, along with many others. The public outcry that followed led to the creation of the Aboriginal Justice Inquiry. Some recommendations were implemented, giving us better representation of Indigenous people on the Winnipeg Police Service, improving control over child and family services by the Métis, and helping reduce discrimination against women under the Indian Act. Still other recommendations are outstanding, like banning peremptory challenges in jury selection, ending the federal minister's veto on First Nation bylaws, and the creation of a Charter of Rights and Freedoms for Indigenous governments. Madam Speaker, the first time I can remember coming here to the legislative building was when my mom and I took the bus here to protest the shooting of J.J. Harper. That was my first time coming here. Now, 30 years later, I have a seat in the front bench of this chamber. Now that I'm only a year younger than J.J. Harper was when he died, and I'm about to myself have three kids of my own, I'm very mindful of the sacrifices it took so that someone like me could sit in this spot. It is a responsibility I do not take lightly. I want to help all Manitobans. And part of that means I'm committed to help bringing about a day where young Indigenous people like J.J. Harper, Colton Bushy, and Tina Fontaine are no longer mourned as martyrs calling on us to do the right thing, but rather that the next Tinas, Coltons, and JJs can achieve more than I have done, be better than I have been, and truly enjoy all that life has to offer. Miigwech, JJ.